French Bulldogs are the second most popular dog breed in the United States, only behind the Labradors. They are smart, playful, and loyal dogs. Training them could be a challenging task because of their stubborn nature. However, these dogs are people-oriented and can be easily trained using some techniques. The best time to start potty training is the day you bring him home. You can start the training process when she is at least 8 weeks old. The earlier you start, the easier it will be for them to learn. If your Frenchie is an adult, you can start training them as soon as you bring them home. Choose a specific bathroom area for your Frenchie. This could be a spot in your backyard or potty pads, depending upon your living conditions. Make sure it's a quiet and out-of-the-way location where the puppy won't be disturbed while doing her business. Because your Frenchie will be using this spot for the whole year, make sure this spot is suitable for all weathers and properly covered from the sun, rain, and snow. Don't change the potty spot unless very necessary. Keep the spot clean because Frenchie will be reluctant to go to an unclean area. Having a consistent and regular potty schedule is very convenient for you and your Frenchie. Taking them for potty at the same time every day will help establish a potty routine and your Frenchie will soon get used to it. It also lowers the chances of elimination inside the house. Feeding your puppy at the same time will also help you establish a potty schedule. There are certain times of the day when your Frenchie needs to go for potty. 15 minutes after a meal, after an exercise or walk, when he wakes up in the morning, after a nap, before going to bed. Frenchies are intelligent dogs, and most of the time, they will give you some obvious signs, which means they have an urge for elimination. Whenever you see these body gestures, take your Frenchie to the designated potty spot. Some of the common signs are going around in circles, whining or barking, sniffing the floor, restlessness and squatting, staring at you and the door. The usage of potty pads is a personal choice, and it depends upon your place of living. Potty pads could be a better option if you live in an apartment or change your house a lot. If you live in a cold climate where it rains most of the time, then potty pads would be the best option. Potty pads will be really helpful in the beginning, as puppies need to go to the bathroom frequently. Keep the potty pads clean, because Frenchies will be reluctant to use them if they are dirty. Accidents are inevitable in the beginning of the training process. It's because puppies still need to learn not to eliminate inside the house, and they don't even have a full control of their bladders. So during these times, be mentally prepared for potty accidents. Deal with them patiently without being aggressive on your puppy. When you see your puppy eliminating inside, firmly say no and direct her towards the designated potty spot. Don't punish or yell at your puppy because that will scare her and she will be reluctant to go potty in front of you. It is recommended to clean the spot thoroughly and make sure no trace of smell is left. Puppies have a strong sense of smell, and if any smell or stain is left, they feel compelled to use the same spot again. Just washing will not eliminate the odor. You need to use enzymatic cleaner to erase any odor. Frenchies are small dogs with small bladders. Moreover, they don't have full control of their bladders unless they are at least four months old. As the puppy grows, she will gradually develop control over her bladder. According to the Humane Society of the United States, a puppy can control their bladder one hour for every month of age. So if your puppy is two months old, they can hold it for about two hours. But that is the maximum she can hold it. She feels the urge to eliminate before that time. The puppies should not be forced to hold their bladders for a long period of time as that could cause bladder infections. Using a crate is an effective way of potty training your dog. Frenchies are clean dogs and they are very unlikely to urinate at the same place where they sleep. Dogs consider the crate as a den and they love to keep their den clean. A crate trained Frenchie can be potty trained more easily. You need to associate the action with a command. Always use a specific command for potty break. It could be something like toilet, go potty, or do business. Always use the same command and don't change it. Potty training a French Bulldog is not an easy process. It's not the hardest either, but it sure takes a few months. It may take six to eight months to completely potty train your Frenchie. It is partly due to the fact that puppies don't have control over their bladders until they're at least four months old. However, 
the training process could take less than six months, and it depends upon the individual dog and the owner's commitment to the training. You will see progress throughout the process. Be patient and consistent in the training process, as it is totally worth the effort to have a fully potty trained Frenchie. Praise and treats will help you a lot in potty training your dog. Frenchies are food-driven dogs, and you can easily train them using treats. Reward your Frenchie whenever she follows a command, goes to the designated potty spot, and does her business. It is an effective way of training. Dogs are den animals, and they have a natural instinct to live in a den-like place. Some people argue using a crate is cruel. But if used correctly and humanely, it could work as a safe sanctuary for your dog. According to the Humane Society of the United States, crate training your puppy takes advantage of the dog's natural instincts to seek out a comfortable, quiet, and safe place when the environment around them becomes too loud or overwhelming. Dogs appreciate having a small, private room of their own. It could become a place of comfort for them, where they could relax and take some rest. It is also beneficial for the owners. You can safely leave them in a crate whenever you have to go outside for some time. A crate could become a shelter for a Frenchie whenever she feels alone or insecure. Crate training allows you to travel comfortably with your dog. A crate trained Frenchie can be easily transported, whether it is a visit to the vet or moving to some other place. A crate will help you a lot in potty training your Frenchie. Dogs don't eliminate at the place where they sleep and this prompts them to go to the designated potty spot. If you want your Frenchie to go happily inside the crate, you need to make it comfy and appealing to them. Fill the crate with his favorite treats and toys. You need soft and warm bedding inside the crate. Instead of a towel or blanket, use a dog's bed that is soft, non-allergenic, and easily washable. In hot weather, you can install some cooling pads inside the crate. Make the crate a comfortable place and your Frenchie would love spending time in it. Once you have made the crate an appealing place, it is time to invite your dog. Introducing your Frenchie to the crate would be challenging in the beginning, but praise and treats will help you a lot. Frenchies are food-driven dogs and you can use their favorite treats to lure them inside the crate. Place the treats on the door and inside of the crate. When she enters inside, don't close the door immediately. Instead, give her enough time to explore the crate and become familiar with it. Once she has become comfortable inside, close the door but stay around the crate. You can leave after a while and your dog may whine or bark to get your attention, but you will have to ignore that with a heavy heart. In the beginning, leave them in the crate for a short time and then gradually extend the time period. Never push your Frenchie inside the crate and don't force him either. You need to make a positive image of the crate in their mind, and for that, it is very necessary that their first few experiences in the crate are positive. When choosing a crate, buy one that is appropriate for the current size of your puppy and when he is fully grown. Frenchies are small dogs and they stand at 11 to 13 inches tall when fully grown. So you can buy just one crate that comes with dividers and then adjust the size of the crate according to the size of Frenchie. A perfectly sized crate should be large enough for your Frenchie to stand up, turn around, and lay down comfortably. However, it should not be so large that they urinate in one corner and sleep in the other. There are several types of crate, but the wire type is the best one. The wire crate is durable and portable. It has a good ventilation system and also comes with dividers to adjust the size. A plastic or fabric crate is mostly used for traveling purposes and whenever you have to transport your dog. Placing the crate at the right spot matters a lot. Sometimes the dog does not hate the crate, but the area where the crate has been placed. Dogs are social animals and they don't like to be left alone. Place the crate at such an area where your dog could feel the vibe of the household. Dogs want to see you and the family members. It could be a living room, home office, or some area close to the kitchen. Make sure the place is safe from direct sunlight and other extreme weather conditions. However, it should not be in such a central location where there is a lot of noise, movements, and activities. That will be a recurring disturbance for your dog. Always use a command whenever you want your Frenchie to go inside the crate. The command could be something like kennel, crate, or any other word. Use the same command all the time and don't change it. 
Overcrating is certainly cruel and should be avoided at all costs. According to the Humane Society of the U.S., puppies under six months of age shouldn't stay in a crate for more than three or four hours at a time. An eight to 10 week old puppy could be left in a crate for a maximum of 30 to 60 minutes. Young puppies have small bladders and have a loose control over their bladders. If left alone for a long time, they could eliminate inside the crate. Leaving your Frenchie in the crate for an extended period of time would have disastrous effects on their mental health. They will soon develop separation anxiety. Dogs need walks, exercise, and human interaction. A crate is supposed to be a place of comfort, not a place of confinement. Instead of crating them for a long time, you should hire a pet sitter or take them to a daycare center. The time duration for complete crate training depends upon the temperament of an individual dog. It may be a matter of weeks or months till your Frenchie is comfortable with the crate. It's true that Frenchies are stubborn dogs and training them can be difficult. Sometimes they are not cooperative in the training and don't follow the instructions. This makes the situation very frustrating for both of you. In such cases, you can skip the training session and start later. However, this stubborn nature does not always happen and of course, it does not stop them from getting trained. Besides stubbornness, Frenchies also have a people-pleasing nature, which means they are eager to please their owners. They can be trained very easily by using proper training techniques. The American Kennel Club describes them as intelligent and adaptable dogs who can be trained easily. These clever dogs can be trained to do agility, obedience, tracking, and other dog sports. Training a Frenchie also depends upon the owner's commitment to the training process. Oftentimes, training takes more time and becomes harder only because of the owner. Keep the training sessions short, focused, and entertaining for your dog. Frenchies have a short attention span, and long sessions often cause a loss of interest and focus. Make the training sessions enjoyable and rewarding for them, and your puppy will be excited to participate. Teach them one command in a session. Positive reinforcement is the key to a successful training process. Frenchies are food-driven dogs, and you can use treats to lure them towards the desired actions. Shower them with plenty of verbal praise and treats, and they would love the process. This reward-based training is very effective, and it accelerates the training process. Never scold or yell at your Frenchie. Punishing your dog is totally counterproductive. If they are not cooperative, you can postpone the session, but don't force them. Socialization is a critical aspect of dog training. It helps them become well-behaved adult dogs. Socialize your Frenchie from a young age. Expose them to different people, places, and animals. Take your puppy to a dog's park, local market, or other public places. The prime time for socialization of a dog is two to four months of age. Poorly socialized dogs often show aggression and develop behavioral problems. Frenchies are brachycephalic dogs, which means they could have difficulty in breathing because of their facial structure. It is recommended not to overtrain these dogs. Don't train them outside in extreme temperatures. Training is a steady process for dogs, and you should not expect quick results. A puppy is like a baby. He doesn't understand your language or commands. He needs time to understand which behaviors are desirable and which aren't. Training a dog requires time, patience, and consistency.